Hey guys, it's me, Pumpkin, and I'm at school again. Um, the lighting here is really good. This is awesome. Um, I'm working on a little bit of my health class, and then I'm going to interview Aiden. All right, so here we go. Hey, Aiden. Hi. My mouth's like automatically trying to chew the straw, and now that's out of my mouth. That's weird. Okay, um, let's ask questions. Uh, okay, how, how long have you been on tea? Um, what day is it today? The first? The uh, second of March. Second? It's been 26, 27. Um, it's been over a month. Mm. A little over a month. Wait, I, I feel like people don't know. Okay, say what T is. Testosterone. T is testosterone. Uh, hormone and, replacement therapy. Oh, okay. And how do you, how do you, how do you get that? I have to get injections in my leg that are like right in the muscle, big needle, um, yeah. Isn't that scary and Every hard? two weeks. Oh, isn't that scary and hard? Um, yeah. It's, oh. a, it's, not, it's a little scary just because of the size of the needle, but once it gets in the leg, it's not a big deal. So how many shots have you gotten of it? Um, three so three? far. Um, yeah. Soon I'll be learning to give them to myself. Oh, cool. But right now they're just giving them to me. Mm. Are you nervous to give them to yourself? Yes. Like, what if you mess up? What'll happen? If I mess up, I'm going to be like, hey, mom, we should go to the hospital. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> and I've heard that some shots can go bad. Mm. Yeah. How long have you known you were transgender? Um, I've been questioning my gender on and off for about two years. Oh, wow. Um, I started to come out and transition in August, late August of this year, of last year. Forgot was it really August? It was. I thought it was... I thought it was before. Before I was starting to like really get it settled yeah. with how I was identified. I thought you came out to me like, I guess it was August. It wow. was, yeah. Dang. Yeah. And then we went shopping. I think. Yeah, we? I know, <laughs> and I had to get a bunch of new clothes. Yeah. Um. Uh, I guess. What else should I say? What um. Do you want to ask how I identify? Yeah. I identify as a trans man. As a trans man? Yes. Okay. Um, and I try to present as such. My gender expression matches my gender identity, so I try to dress masculinely. Yes. Do you think, does that, does that mean that you think that certain no, genders no, have to wear just, certain clothes? No, I just, no, I'm not. I'm just saying that it's valid for, uh, say, a trans man to wear a dress, and they can express their gender that way. Mm. Um, but there's a difference between gender identity and gender expression. Hmm. Okay. Um, People are slapping each other with straws. <laughs> um, do you... This is distracting. <laughs> Real distracting, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, do you... Can I have a sip of water? Sure. Thank you. There you go. Um... <laughs> What would you say are the top three most difficult things about being trans? Binding. Binding. I'm just gonna just be like very FTM, so female to male transgender. Yeah. Uh, problems. Uh, binding. Um, compressing my chest with a binder for more than eight hours a day starts to become like difficult, and depending on what binder I use from which company, uh, it. It hurts and it takes a lot out of me. If I wear it for too many hours, I try not to wear it for past like eight or ten. But I've worn it for about eighteen hours straight once, and that was a bad, bad thing. Oh, so no. that's like the first thing. Um, dysphoria, of course, of that uncomfortableness between how I identify and my body. That's really awful, and that's a really difficult thing about being transgender. Uh, and the third thing I think would be being in relationships. Uh, right where I am, I think it would have been different if I was completely pre-transition pre or if I was past, like post-transition, if I was already had surgery, mm -hmm. top surgery, and was been on testosterone for multiple months, it would have been easier right now where I'm at. Um, relationships are really weird, and relationships are always going to not be easy because I'm transgender, so yeah. Huh. Okay. Um, I don't know what else to ask. Do you have anything else you want to add, I guess? I, I don't know. I wish you had some more questions for me. Mm. More preparation, maybe. Well, I, 
I have Actually, questions. No. I just don't Actually, know no. if like um, what's okay to ask. Yeah. Okay. Um, what is like? <laughs> it's not how? I mean, like, are you okay with talking about like how your parents <laughs> dealt with it and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. So. My mother went through the five stages of grief for losing a daughter. Mm -hmm. She is now on board. She uses my name and pronouns um, about 100% of the time. She uses my right pronouns, my right name. Um, it did take her a long time to kind of mourn the loss of a daughter. Uh, my dad immediately said, I know. Um, he lives across the country, so I, I had to wait a while to come out to him but he's completely on board and wants to support me in any way he can. All right, is there anything else you'd like to add? I chewed on the wrong end of my straw. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you for letting me interview you. Yeah. All right. Okay, well, there you guys go. Um, I just totally forgot to, like, have anything, like, take any vlog footage from yesterday, so I'm just going to post this today. And um, I hope you guys got insight. And I'll put uh, Aiden's YouTube channel in the Come in, check me out. in the description. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. I guess that's all. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.